I have a, a working distance, and those bears must maintain that working distance of at least 70 plus feet away from me. I mean, I, I don't let them come in closer. If they do, then I will put some cracker shells to them because they have to know to maintain away from me. I can't let them run and grab me or something stupid like that, you know? It's not. They understand. They understand the cracker shells, and they understand to be a little further away. Two natural predators in empathy. How is it that Brian's dogs and these bears seem to have reached such a remarkable understanding? I can't say I know all the answers. I just know that when there's a bad relationship, the other dogs know it and we move it out. But if the relationships are casual and they're, they're very exploratory, the bears are social very individualistic but they have a, a social adaptability uh, this is a social order here it's a social thing and they're sort of um, enjoying it we only allow the biggest adult males to um, coexist here because they have a high level of intelligence and they want to be in a safe place and they recognize this is very safe here for them and they, they take care here. Um, they're quite gentle as a rule. You always have to be careful. You're dealing with wild animals. There's always the unpredictable and unknown. And We're in the open. Here. We're on the frontier edge. It's not like we're on the, um, you know, some civilized place. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.